Hey YouTube, this is Will Eat for Free, also known as Spore XP on DOA and on Gaia Online. Um, and I'm responding to BGD Addicts prompt number one, which is an introduction of myself and my dolls. So I'll give you my first name, my real first name is Kristen. And uh, I started getting into the hobby. It's a tough question. I really don't have a clear cut answer. Like when I watch a lot of these videos, people know, oh, I thought I got into the hobby at this time because of this reason. And I didn't really have a reason, oh, excuse me, um, for getting into the hobby. I had seen the dolls quite a long time ago and kind of knew a bit about them, thought that they were gorgeous, but I could never ever own one. And I found a particular doll that I really liked. Um, photos on Flickr, I believe it was, and they led me to the Lottie doll website. And it was there that I first started looking at the dolls and thinking about how I could never own one, and then I kind of just forgot about it because I figured I didn't have a credit card, I was young, there was no way my parents were going to say, yes, you can have a $200 doll. No. So, so I kind of put it on the back burner, and um, they got brought up in conversation again, I'm not entirely sure how, but... I found the website again, and I found the dolls again, and I kind of decided that I would certainly get one. I didn't have a lot of information at the time, and I wasn't a member of DOA. Um, I kind of was just perusing around everywhere trying to figure out things about these dolls. I didn't do a lot of research between companies. In fact, I hardly knew any companies, but I knew that Lottie was meant for me because I'd found it and I was just so drawn to the company and the dolls and they were so cute. So I finally settled on a sculpt which I decided I would get a Lottie Green Leah and I put her in my cart and I took her out of my cart and I put her in and I put her out and the ordering period is coming to a close and my boyfriend finally said to me, Kristen, think about it, really think about it. Are you going to regret missing this ordering period? If you don't order her now, are you going to regret having to wait a couple more months to order her again? And I said, yes, I am. And that was what kind of what um, made, up my, made my decision for me. So I finally checked out, threw my money into the wind, and into a almost four-month wait. So I'll show my first doll here. Her name is Madison Blair. She's my Lottie Green Leah that I was just speaking of. Um, I waited for almost four months for her, as I said, and she's absolutely perfect. When I got her, I like wanted to cry. She's so cute. Um, I looked at a lot of other dolls now since then. I did the research kind of after I got her, and I don't regret getting her at all. Um, she's definitely meant for me. Um, her legs are really floppy at the moment. I tried to restrain her and it was a major fail. My friend who was helping me, the parts flew and it was just, it was just bad. So I haven't gotten around to doing that again um, yet. I'm actually going to wait for the tools this time to do it myself. So um, she's just waiting to get her legs fixed. Um, I made this kimono for her um, by a pattern by that one of my friends on Gaia Online, Finlet, made. So this here's a shout out to Finlet who rocks. And, um, so yeah, here's Maddie, my little sweetheart, show her up close here. So that's my first doll. While I was waiting for Maddie, I was getting super impatient because it was four months and I was like, my first doll, I want her so bad. So I went a little crazy and ended up ordering a second doll. I was looking for a doll who I wanted to name Nora, um, after a storybook character that I really loved as a child. So I ended up looking through all the websites and I finally found my perfect Nora. She is a Slinky Neko Junior Bori. She's an MSD size. Here she is. I just finished this outfit for her the other day and I'm really excited about it. So you can see her outfit here. Um, we had a really rocky start. I opened her and Maddie is double jointed so I was expecting double jointing and I was like really liked how her hands move and stuff. Sorry I'm just playing with her off camera. Um, even though her legs are really crazy and floppy. I, I really like the double jointing, so 
I kind of just expected that that was what Nora would come like. And when I got her, she's, she's she sits she sits nicely and she stands really nicely, but she, and her knees lock, but her joints were not what I expected. I was really weirded out. <laughs> and um, I don't know. It was just she was really different, and so I kind of flipped. And she was also naked and had no hair, so that kind of made her made her a little weird. So it did take me a bit to bond with her, but now I absolutely love her and she is actually the perfect Nora that I wanted. So her full name is Nora Page and she's my other sweetheart here. So those are my two girls, Nora and Madison, my little cuties. So I guess that's all I've got to say about them. Um, their, their personalities, they're like fighting sisters pretty much. They. I like to make photo stories of them where they kind of are feuding, but um, their relationship is kind of developing. I know I'm getting crazy and talking about my dolls like they're real people, but it's all good. I'm sure you understand. Anyway, I'm going crazy now, so I'm just going to stop the video. But thanks so much for watching, and I'm excited to keep doing BJD prompts in the future.